welcome back to our channel. Last time we reviewed Azure's AX1500 Wi-Fi 6 Mesh system, we were really impressed by its performance and price and call it the best budget-friendly Wi-Fi 6 Mesh system in the market for under $130. Now, Azores is back with even more powerful AX1800 Wi-Fi 6 Mesh system, but more importantly, the price tag is even better at only $115 at the time of this review. So in this review, we will do Wi-Fi speed, coverage, and performance test and see if new, more powerful, budget-friendly Wi-Fi 6 Mesh system is the right choice for you. So please sit back, relax, and enjoy the review. Also, please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon for notifications for the future videos. First, let's do a quick unboxing and see its contents. The mesh system comes with quick start guides, warranty card, Wi-Fi 6 mesh units, power adapters, and Ethernet cables. Now let's look at the specs. The Wi-Fi 6 mesh system is powered by quad-core 1.5 GHz processor, 256 MB flash, 256 MB RAM. It supports AX1800 dual-band Wi-Fi 6, A22.11AX standard, OFDMA, MU-MIMO, DFS bands, band steering, and also supports easy mesh. In the ports option, each mesh unit has 1 gig LAN port and 1 gig WAN port. There's also a WPS button, LED on and off button, and power plug-in. And also on the front, there's a LED status light. Let's talk about design and features. The Zorz Wi-Fi 6 has a unique cylindrical design from its previous model, but overall good construction. The overall body dimensions are small, measuring 6.3 inch tall, 3.5 inch wide, and weighs only 360 grams. The system has a lot of ventilation on top and bottom to keep the hardware temperature under control. The Wi-Fi 6 mesh is configured for maximum performance and coverage up to 3000 square feet. It is a 2x2 two two dual band Wi-Fi 6 mesh with a total networking speed of about 1800 megabits per second, out of which 574 megabits per second on 2.4 GHz and 1200 megabits per second on 5 GHz band. This mesh system is perfect for many modern homes, even on the larger side of things. So this Wi-Fi system is looking great for families, small offices, or apartments. So it is a great system for multi-story houses. Now let's do some performance coverage and speed test. So we placed the Azores Wi-Fi 6 main router in the basement storage room. It has concrete walls around it, and it is in the lowest part of the house. And we placed a second mesh unit on the main floor of the house and configured mesh setup. For this test, we are using Intel AX200 Wi-Fi 6 card installed in our laptop and also using iPhone 11, which also supports Wi-Fi 6. So the total square footage of the house is 5,000 square feet. I will be testing Wi-Fi connection in different corners and floors of the house to see how well Wi-Fi 6 mesh system performs in terms of Wi-Fi speed and coverage. So if you have been following the channel and saw the previous Wi-Fi reviews, we are going to make some changes to our test method. We will no longer be using internet speed test moving forward in our reviews because it does not represent the true bandwidth capability of the router or mesh system. So moving forward, we'll only be performing iPerf3 performance test. So if you're not familiar with iPerf3, it is a tool to measure maximum bandwidth on wireless or wired networks. So we have our MacBook Pro configured with the iPerf3 server, and also we have both Wi-Fi bands set up separately, 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz band. Also, we will be only using 5 GHz channels for best performance results. The 5 GHz band is set to 80 MHz bandwidth, and you have an option to either select your channels or leave it to auto. So let's get started. I have 1 gig Verizon Fios connection, and for the first test, I have connected a MacBook Pro to the router via Ethernet cable, and we're getting 1 gig internet speed, confirming router can handle 1 gig internet speed, which is amazing for this price point. Now for the first Wi-Fi speed test, I have placed a laptop with Wi-Fi 6 card installed right next to the main router. And as you can see, we are connected to 5 GHz Wi-Fi 6 channel with speed up to 1.2 gigabits per second, confirming the 80 MHz channel is working correctly. Now we are going to run iPerf3 test on the laptop, and we are going to use 5 streams instead of single stream, because 5 streams will saturate the router bandwidth and help us measure the correct bandwidth capability of the mesh system. So with iPerf3 5 streams, be able to get 606 megabits per second wireless bandwidth network speed. Comparing it against the AX1500 model, we see great improvements. Now we're going to run iPerf3 test on iPhone 11 as well, and we're going to use 5 streams instead of single stream. With iPerf3 5 streams, we're able to get max speed 801 megabits per second wireless network bandwidth speed. Again, a good improvement over AX1500 model. Now for the second test, I'm standing 30 feet away from the Wi-Fi 6 router in the basement with a couple of walls between Wi-Fi router, iPhone and laptop. I have so far good Wi-Fi connection for both iPhone and laptop. First using iPhone 11 with the iPerf3 5 streams, we are able to achieve 492 megabits per second network bandwidth wireless speed. Now let's move to the laptop with Wi-Fi 6 card. 
Here we are connected a very good wireless connection and running iperf 3 5 stream test on laptop, we were able to achieve 328 megabits per second wireless bandwidth speed. Again, great improvements over AX1500 model. Now let's move from the basement to the main floor of the house and do a third Wi-Fi speed and connection test. Here I have still good Wi-Fi signals and solid connection for both laptop and iPhone. And using iperf 3 5 stream wireless speed test, we are able to achieve 289 megabits per second wireless bandwidth speed on iPhone 11. And switching to laptop at the same location and using iperf 3 5 stream test again, we are able to achieve 303 megabits per second wireless bandwidth network speed. Good improvement over AX1500 model. Now I moved to the far left side of the house and close to 60 feet from the Wi-Fi 6 router with the floor and few walls between router, iPhone 11 and laptop. First using iperf 3 5 stream test on laptop, we are able to achieve 167 megabits per second bandwidth network speed. Now at the same location switching to iPhone 11 and using iperf 3, we were able to achieve 210 megabits per second wireless bandwidth speed. Again, great improvement over AX1500 model. Now let's move to the far right side of the house and close to 30 feet from the Wi-Fi 6 router with the floor and few walls between router, iPhone and laptop. Now here we have good Wi-Fi signals for both iPhone and laptop and using iperf 3 5 stream speed test on iPhone 11, we were able to achieve 210 megabits per second wireless bandwidth speed. Switching to laptop at the same location and using iperf 3 5 streams, we were able to achieve 168 megabits per second bandwidth wireless speed. Again, significant improvements over AX1500 model. Now let's move to the second floor of the house. Here we have two floors and few walls between Wi-Fi 6 router, iPhone and laptop. Very good Wi-Fi signal strength with solid Wi-Fi connection on iPhone 11 and laptop. And using iperf 3 5 stream on iPhone 11, we were able to achieve 573 megabits per second wireless bandwidth network speed. And switching to laptop at the same location, we still have good Wi-Fi signals. And using iperf 3 5 stream test, we were able to achieve 309 megabits per second bandwidth wireless speed. Again, major improvement over AX1500 model. In the final test, we are going to do a mesh Wi-Fi backhaul network bandwidth speed test. Azure's mesh system uses 5 GHz channel for its backhaul. So in this test, we have our laptop connected to mesh satellite on the main floor of the house via 1 gig Ethernet. The main mesh unit is still in the basement. We will run iperf 3 5 stream test on laptop and we were able to achieve 378 megabits per second backhaul network bandwidth speed. Now let's look at the router admin setup. Azores designed the Wi-Fi 6 router setup to be a very easy 3-step process. All you have to do is download the Azores router app to Android or iOS device. Connect your router to your modem, or if you have Fios with Ethernet connection, you can connect router's WAN port directly to your Ethernet cable, and you don't need modem. Then just follow the instructions in the app to complete the setup, or you can set up using a web browser. The web setup has a very clean interface with ton of options to choose. So we're going to go over the settings very quickly to see what are the available options. On the main screen, we have mesh information, internet information, wireless network settings, and number of connected devices, and also has wired network devices. Then continue on the top menu, there's a status menu, and here you will find device information, WAN information, LAN information, Wi-Fi information, LAN host information, mesh information, and mesh topology. Under device information, you have router's information, serial number, software version and hardware version. Under WAN information, you have IPv4, IPv6 information. Under LAN information, you have all your LAN connected devices information. Then under Wi-Fi information, you have both 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz wireless information, their SSID, channel information, encryption and more. Under LAN host information, you will find all the connected devices information, what band and access point they are connected to. Then under mesh information, you will find information about master and slave access points and their link speed. And under mesh topology, you will find information about device connected master access point and slave access point. This is very good detail information. Then moving on to the basic menu, here you can check wireless setting about 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz. I'm really glad the mesh system supports WPA3 authentication and encryption. And you can go under advanced settings to select channel or leave it to auto. You can also set your bandwidth, transmit power, VLAN mode, guard interval, DFS configuration. These are very good advanced configuration options if you are an advanced user. There's also option for WPS switch, either enable it for 2.4 GHz or 5 GHz band. Then under advanced settings you have option to set password, system upgrade to check firmware upgrades. You can also restore to factory settings, also have an option for NTP, DHCP, 
IPv4, IPv6, blacklist URLs or websites. You can also change the router mode to access point, master access point or slave access point. Then under add-on, you can set parental control, block internet access for any device on the network. Also, you can set up guest network. You can also change the LED indicator timer to turn it off during nighttime. You can also set up Wi-Fi network timer to block internet access during certain time of the day. You can also set up firewall, UPnP. Then moving on to the traffic, here you can monitor the network traffic for wired or wireless devices, which is very good information and you don't find it most of the budget wireless routers or mesh systems. And finally, under troubleshooting, you can check system logs, do a ping test for troubleshooting, trace the test, port mirror, and remote management. But you don't have to set up all these settings if you're not a power user. You can leave everything to default. Let's do the final summary. Overall, Azure's AX1800 Wi-Fi 6 mesh system did perform extremely well in this review for its price point and AX1800 category. The Wi-Fi 6 router delivers outstanding Wi-Fi coverage, excellent Wi-Fi speeds, and does not have problem covering 5,000 square feet even though it is rated for only 3,000 square feet. The highlight of the mesh system is its price point, which is only $115 at the time of this review, which is the best Wi-Fi 6 mesh system price in the market. On that basis, I have no problem recommending Azure's Wi-Fi 6 mesh system for anyone who's in the market for best budget-friendly Wi-Fi 6 mesh system without breaking the bank. Let me know what you guys think of Azure's Wi-Fi 6 mesh system in the comments below. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for notifications for the future videos. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.